In this video, I'm going to address five things that people say they hate about the city of Charlotte and in the process give you my opinion about those five things. Stick around. Hello family, I'm Sir Ashley and on this channel we talk about personal finance, real estate, and all things Charlotte. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Make sure you tap on that subscribe button and also that so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. We're literally getting phone calls, texts, and emails every single day from people wanting to move within and wanting to move to the Charlotte area. And we appreciate all of the love that you're giving. Please keep reaching out. We truly want to be a resource for all those people learning about the area. And if you're wanting to buy or sell in the greater Charlotte area, we are here to help you with that as well. And yes, that includes North and South Carolina. Quick aside, he doesn't know I'm doing this, but if you also want to get a different perspective about Charlotte, be sure to check out Langston's channel. It's Long Live Langston. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in this video. Now, obviously he doesn't speak for me and I don't speak for him, but if you want a different perspective other than mine, go check him out. Now let's get into the topic of this video, but be sure to stick around to the end for the last couple of bullet points because while I believe all five of these points are important, the last two may be a little uncomfortable, but believe I believe they are the most important things we're gonna go over in this video. And it's perfectly fine if you're uncomfortable with what I have to say, because I'm free to express my opinion, just like you are free to express and have your own opinion as well. Two people do not have to think the same, nor do they have to be on the same page regarding everything. We all have different perspectives and different experiences in this world, so everybody should see the world in a different way. Those of you that know me outside of YouTube know that I value other people's perspectives so I can have a full robust dialogue that goes beyond just the superficial fluff. I don't have a problem going in or diving into that on this channel, but I'm constrained a little bit because I have licensure laws and real estate rules that I cannot go over, but know that you're going to get my thoughts and opinions on these five things. Starting off at number five. One thing people love to hate about Charlotte and the city of Charlotte is the crime. People love to bring up crime when they're talking about Charlotte and they say that crime is spinning out of control. I personally have colleagues who live in Huntersville and other suburbs of Charlotte and they talk about Charlotte as if it's some type of war zone. But let's look at the numbers. These numbers come from the CMPD, which is the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department. And these numbers are for last year. Now last year was an odd year. You had more people with a lot more idle time on their hands, coupled with a lot of people losing their jobs and out of work. So that mixture could have result in a very combustible situation. As you see here, the total arrests went down by 17%. Property crimes went down by 14%. Violent crimes went up by 16%. Rapes, robberies, and vehicle thefts, thefts also went down as well. But violent crimes and homicides did increase. So overall, based on the stats, crime in Charlotte is not, I repeat, not spinning out of control. Is it higher than anyone would like? Most definitely. But to say that crime is spinning out of control is a huge overstatement. Moving on to number four, people love to hate on the food here in Charlotte. And they refer to the food scene as subpar or even atrocious I've seen in some writings and conversations. Respectfully, to the people that say this today about the food scene in Charlotte, I say this without hesitation. You're lazy. Get out, use Google, go outside of your beaten path, and you will find some excellent food options right here in Charlotte. Just don't be lazy. Now, if you had said the food scene was atrocious and subpar 12 to 15 years ago, yes, you would have had a point, and I would have conceded that point to you because there weren't many food options or a lot of diverse food options here in Charlotte at that point. But in 2021, if you cannot find what you're looking for in the food scene, you're just not looking hard enough. And part of me gets that because we all are a little bit lazy and we like convenience. And in your part of the city, they might not have what's pleasing to your palate, but if you get in the car and drive 20 to 25 minutes at most, I'm positive you can find exactly what you're looking for or have a taste for. 
when I lived in Uptown, I loved it. I had everything at my fingertips and there were tons of food and restaurant options. And then when I moved to Huntersville, I absolutely hated it because at the time there was very limited food options. During that time, when I first moved to Huntersville, I lived off of Mama's Pizza Express and Mama Mia's, two different restaurants, both Italian. Now, I loved both of those restaurants, and if you haven't tried either one of them, be sure to go check them out. Now, I remember one time I showed up at Mama Mia's, it was late, it was about to close, and I was with a party of about 10 people. The owner came out and greeted us, and sat us down and served us all, and he stayed there an additional about hour and a half, even though he was about to close down. I am forever grateful and forever thankful that he did that, and it stays with me to this day. So if you're in the Huntersville area, be sure to check out Mama Mia's. The service is amazing. The food is high quality. You will enjoy it. But by the time I left Huntersville, which was a few years ago, there was a plethora of food options and food choices. No matter what you had a desire or taste for, you can find it or you can have it delivered to you. And I haven't even touched on the many, many food trucks that the Charlotte area has. There's literally a food truck for everything. I'm from upstate New York. I know you probably heard me say it before. And one day I was really wanting a garbage plate. So I Googled garbage plate, Charlotte, North Carolina. And sure enough, there was a food truck that served garbage plates. And I thought I was in heaven when I found that out. If you don't know what a garbage plate is, please go look it up. And then after you look it up, go try one. Feel free to take a picture of your garbage plate and tag me in it. I'm in the process of doing research for a video concerning the best food trucks in the Charlotte area. So I don't want to go too in depth about the Charlotte area food trucks in this video, but be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button as well as that bell icon so you can be alerted for when I drop that video. All right, moving on to number three. People here in Charlotte love to hate on and complain about the weather here in Charlotte. Yes, I am guilty of this, and I should be ashamed of myself. We can't ever be satisfied. We are always going to find something to complain about regarding the weather. When I lived up north, and it snowed profusely, and it was cold six months out of the year, I complained then and wanted to live somewhere warm. And now that I'm here in Charlotte, where there are four distinct seasons, I complain because it gets too hot. In July and August, it gets very, very hot here in Charlotte. For me, it's almost unbearably hot. So the only times you'll see me outside during those months is when I'm walking into or getting out of my car. Aside from that, you will find me in the comfort of air conditioning, whether it's an air conditioning restaurant, my home or office, I will be in an air conditioned space. So I get why people complain about the weather. Should we complain? Probably not because the weather here is not as hot as it is compared to Texas or some of the states out West. Do we have to deal with tons of snow and cold like people up north do? No, we don't, but we will find a reason to complain. I'm guilty of it. Now this really isn't on the list, but people complain about allergies when they move to Charlotte, and I will tell you this. If you suffer from seasonal allergies, chances are it will become significantly worse when you move to Charlotte. Person after person after person I talk to tell me that either their allergies have gotten worse since moving to Charlotte, or that they've acquired seasonal allergies when they moved to Charlotte. For me, some years are significantly worse than others, so please keep that in mind if you are planning to move to the Charlotte area. On to number two. People hate on Charlotte and call it a cultural wasteland that has no identity. Yes, I think that's harsh, but that's what people hate on Charlotte about. Well, there are two sides to this argument. Yes, Charlotte is rich in history and culture, and again, if one took some initiative, that history of Charlotte and its culture is easily discoverable, and you can go to one of the handful of, museum, handful of museums that highlight that fact. But people claim it to be a cultural wasteland because Charlotte isn't really known for any specific cultural influence on a national level. And that's because for the past 20 years, Charlotte has been growing and getting transplants from all across the country, and the world for that matter, and everyone brings with them their own cultural influence. So no, there isn't any unified cultural influence that unites all Charlotteans. But to say that Charlotte is a cultural wasteland is an oversimplification of what has taken place. 
because the historic and cultural backbone of Charlotte has been gentrified or is going through gentrification. So it's kind of two-faced for people to cry out about the lack of culture, yet at the same time, those people are advocating for the tearing down of homes and neighborhoods to put up office buildings and apartments. I'm specifically looking at you, South End, and the West Boulevard corridor. But all of Charlotte is guilty of this. On to number one on the list of things that people hate about Charlotte, and it has to be racism. Racism is the elephant in the room. Does it exist here in Charlotte? Most definitely, yes, racism exists. But unfortunately, it exists everywhere in this country, so it's not a uniquely Charlotte problem, but that doesn't mean we should not talk about it. Faith Fox, a fellow black attorney here in Charlotte, was on the news recently because her son was expelled from a predominantly white private school right here in Charlotte after she complained about a reading assignment that her black son was given. The book contained several racial slurs and even had the N-word on the book's first page. In my opinion, my personal opinion, she had every right to complain about this and to shine light on it. I don't have all the answers. How does one measure racism? Do you measure it in grams, in ounces, in pounds? Or do you measure it in how people want to criticize and demonize someone for kneeling during the national anthem? And then those same people make excuses for the terrorists that stormed our Capitol on January 6th and beat police officers with an American flag. Do you measure racism by the amount of people saying buzzwords and phrases like, we want to come together and all lives matter? But those same people that are using those buzzwords and phrases do not want to actually hear from and empathize with the people that do not look like them. I don't know how you want to measure or quantify racism, but I do know it exists here in Charlotte. It exists in everyday situations, in the classroom, in the courtroom, in the boardroom. It exists in real estate, on the investor side, and on the realtor side. Sometimes the racism is blatant, but more than not, it's a subtle racist undertone that comes from people who smile in your face, yet subconsciously or consciously hold on to these ignorant beliefs and thoughts. I get the benefit of hearing from you all, and I appreciate you sharing with me your experiences and opening up with me about your experiences here in Charlotte. Again, I told you I don't have all the answers. This wasn't a video designed to provide you with the answers. It is to provide you five things that people hate about Charlotte. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it was informative and helped you when you're making your decision whether or not to move here. I love it here despite those five things that many people hate about Charlotte. Before we go, remember these are my opinions and you're more than free to disagree with me. I'm Sir Ashley, talk soon.